Christ's requirements are indeed unattainables. That you must learn first of all. In his demands, Christ goes far beyond the natural. He asks for no mere imitations. On the one hand, he well knows your incapacities. On the other hand, he demands the utterly impossible. And the necessary shock that has to come to the believer is that Christ's standards are completely beyond the reach of the flesh. Who naturally loves his enemies, rejoices in persecution, hates himself, and goes the second mile? Yet these things are required in the true Christian life. We are at once indicted and hopeless. There is an impassable gulf between the humanly possible and the requirements of Christ. The flesh profiteth nothing. F. J. Hugel, in Bone of His Bone, rightly summarizes our failure thus, quote, We have been proceeding upon a false basis. We have conceived of the Christian life as an imitation of Christ. It is not an imitation of Christ. It is a participation of Christ.